hardships in relationships, not any situations, uh, day programs like ARC, Easter Seals ARC, and Heritage House, working, my thoughts on working, my dreams of becoming a writer, my experience living with autism, my growth as Daniel, and my future, or my voice for the future. Now, there are little parts of the, in this book about my life story, and I'm going to read parts about my growth. I want to express this this book that about my is about my struggles, my triumphs, and my beliefs of what I have been going through. Twenty five years of living the best life I can possibly have. It has been my hope that I will continue to live my life to the fullest. <clears throat> I really want to thank myself for be helping me become a better me. I know I am truly in a good place of finding myself and know where I am in my life. This is truly from my heart who I am as Daniel. I will say that I have made a lot of changes in myself since I was young. I won't make this long, but I have said a lot in this book. I have overcome a lot of things and made my share of mistakes. I will let go, go here. I made this far and I'm, go I'm not going back. I am forever, will forever be grateful for the change that I made in my life. And I want to share also in my voice for the future. This is chapter nine. I mean, a little part of that part. Um, I hope my life in the future is to become fully independent. My plans are not having as much as more any more staff working with me and build my future. I build more friendships. I want to make more friends and grow as a person with as a person with people. Before I was really shy, I didn't trust a lot of people. Now, I seem to connect with others who like me for me. But still, I have to be aware that everyone is not meant to be a part of me or my life. No matter what, I cannot please everyone for who, for what, or who I am in life. That includes family, and people I come into contact with. And the last